Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Briggs Are your home for vintage Lego. And today we're not looking at a vintage Lego set, but we are looking at a discontinued Lego set, one that you probably should get. If you're on the fence about getting this set, which is set 70657 Ninjago City Docks, I highly recommend it. So, and this is coming from someone who is not a fan of Ninjago. Now, I'm not saying I hate Ninjago. I'm not saying I dislike Ninjago. I'm just saying I have not watched the show. So I cannot form an opinion of the show. I can't say that it's bad. I can't say that I don't like it. I just, just, I haven't been drawn to it enough to like start watching it and see if it's something I'd be interested in. I haven't been drawn to a lot of the other Ninjago sets, but the sets that Ninjago, the, 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 the Ninjago sets that do interest me, I'm very interested in, like Ninjago City, Ninjago City Gardens, and this, Ninjago City Docks. And I, I, I am very pleased with it. So I, if you saw previously, I did a series of videos where I was acquiring the parts. I was piecing together this set and an older set, the Cafe Corner. I got all the parts to the Cafe Corner first. I built it, I did a video on that. And so here's my video on Ninjago City Docks. Now I built this uh, each evening. I'd come home from work and work on a few steps. It seemed like I was never going to get done. <laughs> it's like, oh, it was so, so many pieces and so many details. Uh, I'm glad when I, all right, when I was acquiring the parts, I did kind of keep them separated uh, by color. So. And I had them all these trays, so it made it easy to kind of like for each step to go find the piece as I was building the step. Because otherwise, if it had just been a random lot, like kind of like what I do with the cafe corner, it would have been it would have taken forever. But man, there's <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun building this. So uh, if you want to see a detailed review of this, I'm sure there's uh, a lot better ones. And you know, this is not a current set that people are really talking about. Uh, but I think if you want it even though it's not in stores or anything like that, you better get it. Cause I think the value of this is just going to keep going up because I think about the uh, fans of Ninjago. Cause I think it's, I'm assuming I could be wrong, but I, I think that's more towards the younger audience, the teens, preteens, maybe even younger boys particularly like it. But um, those, when those get old enough to afford more, you know, they're going to want this. <laughs> There's some kid that's just gotten into Ninjago, and then he's going to be like, oh, they made this set? Uh, I want that set. <laughs> so I'm thinking about those people that may be just getting into Ninjago and don't even know this stuff exists yet. And it's like, they're going to definitely want this, uh, especially as an adult. I think they would want to get this. So it was, it was a fun, fun build. And again, I don't know anything about the character. I don't know the names of any of the characters. I mean, well, there's this green guy. I think that's Lloyd, and I think that's Garmadon. And I think I know that from the commercials. <laughs> uh, and I think this hair is Lloyd's hair. It's little blonde hair that you, you have that's kind of extra. Uh, any of the other characters, I couldn't tell you. But there, there's some cool ones in here. Uh, this this one guy, he's got like, it looks like he's some kind of gamer, which is uh, pretty neat. And again, I'm not doing a detailed review. This building on this end is like a game room. And, oh, the, the way these things come apart is just so neat. Um, but yeah, it's got a, a candy machine. I just killed the baby. It's, and it's got a couple of arcade games, which was uh, super cool. So I really enjoyed seeing that in there. And that's the other thing. It's like, why, Lego hasn't done enough arcades, but I know Ninjago City... Uh, that my son built, it had an arcade in it, and had, I think, or a comic book shop or something. I, again, I, I haven't done the detailed reviews where I've gone through each level and stuff. Now this one over here, this building over here, it has is like a newsstand. I thought it was a jail when I was building it, but it's like some kind of little shop. <laughs> I thought it was a jail. I said, is this the jail? <laughs> and there's like a, a karate place. Uh, that's not it. What is that? It's like there's a map in there. This one over here, I think, is the little karate place, or the uh, where you can go buy statues and uh, statues of chickens. <laughs> it's the chicken dojo. And then there's a little shop, a uh, um, market, which is really neat. And there's a the little um, rotisserie that you can turn it. I like all the signage. Uh, one of these buildings, I think, is this one. You push this thing in the back, and it 
opens up and you can replace these signs on the side you got like four different signs let me see if i can do this it's not working oh there it goes so like yeah it's got all the it's got the different signs whoops i dropped one these are all stickered pieces oh and if you're not a fan of stickers yeah you won't like this set because there's a ton of stickers but i think it works i d i wasn't complaining as i put the stickers on i didn't complain one bit about them so normally i do especially when they're hard to to put on there was a couple places i think i might have got the sticker a little crooked um oh and this building it's got the zero one on the side so it's uh, obviously this is uh where bo and luke duke live uh, and the general lee i didn't see the general lee in here but uh oh i just broke my tipper truck this is how it compares to a tipper truck Maybe that should be my thing is every video from now on, how does it compare to the chipper truck? Chipper truck, 17 pieces. Ninjago City Garden, like 3,500 pieces. <laughs> Which would you rather have? <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is a good set. So when I think of um, Ninjago, I don't have any interest in the theme as a theme, but these builds are just really amazing. So th I think that's a good thing to do is... Um, you don't have to be like somebody can like Star Wars but not be into Star Wars. They can like, oh, this ship looks really cool. Uh, and there's other other themes that are like that where you can say, oh, I like that set. But oh, for instance, there's a spider. <laughs> uh, my son-in-law built Dom's charger. I'll probably do a video on that later. But it's like, I have no interest. That's another thing I have no interest in is uh, Fast and the Furious. But that the car was pretty neat. And so you, you can have an interest in a lego set on a theme that you might not be interested in the theme as in general but you might like that set and i'm sure that happens a lot and this is just a gorgeous set and i think one of the the telling things for me is i got done building it and i took it over to where my wife was and i showed it to her and she's like wow <laughs> that's a really neat looking set so uh, she thought it was neat and then like this feature on the top and stuff and just all the intricate details that they put into it it's just really amazing so this is going to look great in the city again i'm not doing the detailed review i'm not getting up here and showing you up close all the, the little things i'm just telling you what i think about it i thoroughly enjoyed building this so thank you good job lego yes i know i can there's a spider again you can't see these little tiny spider um it's, uh, I, I was going to say, I complain about things. And I think the things that I complain about, for me personally, that I think they're valid complaints. And some people may disagree, and that's fine, like the things. But uh, I think they did a really, really, really good job with this. If you are a Ninjago fan and you want to know more about Ninjago, I suggest that you go follow Generic Stud. Uh, again, this is a Generic Stud's channel is a, an example of you can appreciate um somebody's skill at making videos and the how funny the videos are even if you're not necessarily into the topic that a lot of the videos are about like he he does a, mostly stuff about ninjago it, i just find the videos very entertaining so yeah check out nin, nin, nin generic stud because i figure if there could be people who months from now years from now that stumble across this video for whatever reason and if you don't know who Generic Stud is and you like Ninjago, I'm like, how, how is that? How, how do you not know who Generic Stud is if you like Ninjago? But if you don't, but now you do. So anyway, I'm going to go. This is, I just wanted to talk about this set. I really like it. I'm very pleased with it. And we're going to have it in the city. Now i got to get that other Ninjago set built, which I may have my son build it. It's another uh, big one. But um, yeah, awesome set. Hopefully I won't break it carrying it over there to the table. See, anyway, uh, oh, the shirt is from Broke for Bricks. He sent me this. It's an autism awareness shirt. And speaking of the shirts, I'm so pleased we've made it this far with the challenge of doing a different shirt or top every every video. I, you know, I had a little dark time about a month or so ago where I was like feeling like giving up. Uh, but I've been re-motivated thanks to you guys. And I went over to my father-in-law's. Uh, yesterday and he he kind of re-motivated me because he has some stuff that he can help he used to be in the grocery business and he has some stuff so that yeah uh may even get something for what he does for work so it's it's i don't know has anybody ever done this anybody wear something different every day for a year 
Has that been done? I, nobody has told me. So I don't think it has been done. I don't think it will be like a Guinness World Record or anything, but um, who knows? Anyway, I'm going to go see you guys tomorrow in a different shirt.